Hi Capricorn, here's a general look at your solar chart for the whole of 2009. Well, since 2007, Saturn, your ruling planet, has been in an area uh, to do with bigger horizons. So over this time, many of you will have been experiencing uh, people from a very different background to you. Uh, that could be foreign connections, it could be that you've been traveling more, uh, traveling longer distances, or maybe just uh, familiarizing yourself with, on an academic level, maybe um, new concepts and ideas. Um, over this time, you'll have had the opportunity to put some of those pet theories of yours to work in the field and will have at times felt a bit tested uh, uh, as you sampled the, this uh, daily reality of uh, maybe uh, an ideology that you had uh, and uh, getting it cut down to size uh, to a certain extent. Some things will have been uh, an absolute delight, others will have been a huge reality check, but one way or another uh, you will have been learning a heck of a lot over these last um, few months. Well, that's since 2007. So it's more than a few months, isn't it? Now this cycle uh, of your ruling planet Saturn in this area of wider horizons uh, will be finishing in October and then you'll begin a two and a half year period of carving out a new place for yourself in the world. Uh, the image, the profession, and um, you'll look back upon this time maybe as preparation for that because this time that you're in now is to a certain extent more adventurous and um, instructive, shall I say. Jupiter is uh, moving into an area uh, to do with finances, um, property maybe, possessions, uh, and also your talents. Any asset that you have, any resource that you have that you that belongs to you. Uh, maybe some things over 2009 uh, will come back to you. Something that you didn't get the chance to follow up or complete or study or uh, do. Um, something close to your heart from the past. So you'll be more inclined to invest your energy or money into something worthwhile this year. It's With the Jupiter energy, it's anything that's going to give you a brighter and better future. It's also bodes very well for, for money, um, for making more money or for turning uh, an asset into cash. Um, and uh, if you invest uh, under this stupid influence, then it will be with an eye to the future and saying, okay, this is you know this is going to um, bring me a more abundance in the future because Jupiter is the planet of abundance, but it's also quite spiritual as well. So whatever you get into um, over 2009 on this sort of material level should be for this feeling of your your higher good in some way where you can um, put out into the world something which uh, you feel is very worthwhile or acquire something which will be very worthwhile for many years to come not just for yourself but maybe for others as well Jupiter is definitely uh, very favorable for a more lucrative uh, time in 2009. Some of you could be beautifying your space between February and June, redecorating, doing DIY maybe. There's, there's a feeling of closeness and harmony there in your um, close relationships, family relationships, or in your local community or spiritual tribe. So however that works for you, you're likely to be taking more pleasure from your daily environment and appreciating nature more, uh, appreciating having more beautiful things around you uh, in the springtime. That's up until June the 5th from February the 3rd. Now uh, the eclipses, every year there's a sequence of eclipses which uh, bring change into whatever area they're affecting. 
and the eclipse energy will be throwing things up in the air related to your finances, your personal security, so that could be property as well, and joint resources. That starts from January the 26th and it will help you change gears, it will help you make a transition from an old scenario to a new one. So a lot of you will be thinking uh, more deeply about something weighing something up. And there's definitely a feeling of shifting here, so <clears throat> in order to do that sometimes it's going to be necessary to ditch some something. Um, it can be literally um, you going down to the dump and, and, and ditching objects, um, just lightening up, uh, dropping some ballast. It can be on another level um, saying goodbye to certain um, old arrangements or relationships. So however that pans out, you will be uh, lightening up uh, as you let go. And sometimes you won't want to let go. You'll feel like, well, uh, I want to hang on to that thing. Or maybe it's um, if something's been bugging you, uh, maybe that'll be the time for you to say, okay, enough is enough. I'm just going to 